Hi everyone, Cinexsoft here. Today I'm going to show Nextion Editor for ITAD Studios uh, TFT displays that can be used with Raspberry Pi, Arduino board, thanks to their serial interface. Alright, so I've done a small uh, demo. An Hello World demo. So in the middle of the user interface, we've got the editing window. On the side here, we have pictures. We can add pictures um, by browsing. Here in this section, we have our fonts. There are no predefined uh, fonts. So the thing you have to do if you want to input text, you go to the font generator. And then you select the font you want the size and you type a name and you type generate font and within a few seconds it will create two fonts it will create a font so for this purpose for this demo I, I created two fonts CNX soft and CNX soft 2 different size this and the first font is called name 0 the second one is 1 that's the way the software works and here we have the compiler output uh, the window to uh, define events here the page uh, creator and selector so let's go to the first page I created uh, three uh, type of items to create items you go to add components and you have a wall selection here I use text for the hello world text button for the clock button and picture for the background picture <coughs> sorry this software does not support uh, layer adjustment that means you cannot put a layer up or down or I missed how to do so you have to start by the background image and add the layer on top okay so for the text you do add component text and here you come on the right and you type the text you want you select the font Remember, I have two fonts, 0 or 1, and you can select the color, and after, you can resize this one and move it. Let me try to resize. Okay, if it's too small, we don't see anything. Alright, and the second one I created, again, add button, it will create a button. I can select it, resize it, uh, set the text, set the font, I select font 1 that is smaller, and then I created the second page, which I call clock. There is no background image or anything, and I just put the clock here, that's only a string, actually text, and another button. All right. Again, same font and color. And then for buttons, you can go here and go to touch press event. And I use the user code page zero to go back to the first page. And if I go back to the first page and check the clock button, again, I set the page one to go to the second page. So once this is done, you can compile program the UI and it will say the success and the file size 2.5 megabytes with a feature before uploading to the board we can use the debug mode so it's like a simulator and I can click if I click anywhere it doesn't work if I click on the clock it goes back to the second window if I click back to hello it will go back to hello world window and sorry and at the bottom you can also use to simulate user MCU input it's something I do later and each data you send you can each uh, event you can see the data sent so in theory you could also write your own program 
uh, for example for your PC to display temperature, CPU usage and so on. So once this is, you are happy with the result, you, can, you need to send the data to the board. You can do it uh, using the SIO interface, it's not connected right now. Or you can use it using a micro SD card. If you use a micro SD card, you just open the build and you copy this file to the SD card and after it will be copied automatically. For me, I used the SIO interface and I use uh, this uh, USB to TTL debug board, uh, like uh, we use for debugging uh, development boards, and connected it to uh, this uh, next TN display with touch screen, a five, uh, 5 inch. So you can see at the back here, it's indeed a uh, wired interface, uh, 5 volt. And there is a SD card in case you want to load the program via the SD card. So I have already loaded the program. So I will start. Uh, we can see start it. And I can touch the button I programmed to switch between the two. All right, that's all for the, this Hello World demo with next-gen displays. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.